Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Art with Mrs. Weinshop. Today we're going to be exploring still life art, where we create art of things that are inside our homes, but we're also going to be highlighting a famous still life artist named Paul Cezanne. He was famous for saying, I will astonish Paris with an apple. He turned away from Paris, but not with from all of his fruits. He loved to sketch and paint still life by using fruits, either fruits in bowls or assorted fruits like bananas, apples, blueberries, and tangerines, oranges, grapes, you name it, pineapples, he drew it. So his artistic approach launched one of four major trends in art movement now defined as post-impressionism. And this, and with this move, he became very popular and he made many paintings that we see today. So today we are going to be drawing a fruit bowl in the style of Paul Cezanne. However, we are going to be utilizing our artistic elements of shapes and lines by creating organic lines and organic shapes on our artwork masterpiece. So I hope you're ready to draw and create with me today. So what you will need for today's art project is a pencil, a piece of paper, a black marker or a black crayon. And if you don't have that, you can use a brown crayon or a brown marker, oil pastel, or you know a color pencil, whatever you have in your house or in your classroom that you're presently in. And we are going to begin. Are you ready? Here we go. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna put all my fruit back into the bowl, just like Paul Cezanne. But I don't think this looks like a Paul Cezanne. I think Ms. Wychow's being kind of silly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my name on my paper to show that it is my piece of art. So here we go. I'm gonna use my whiteboard at home. You're gonna use a piece of paper and pencil right now. So here we go, I'm gonna put my name. So I'm gonna write Mrs. Weinchild. You at home, please write your name on your paper and pencil right now. Awesome. Put a thumbs up once you have that done. Great job. So now we're going to need to set the stage for our fruit creation, our fruit basket. So the first thing we're going to draw is our basket. So on the bottom of your paper, I want you to make a large U. Everybody did that? Great. Now, I want us to make small upside down hill U's that look like hills. So we're gonna make that straight across the top, all the way till we hit the end over there. And then we are going to now go to each valley in between those hills, and we're going to curve them to the left and attach them. Curve each one to the left, and attach them, see that? All the way till the end one, so that way we have the top. And then we're going to connect the top of the hills with a straight line. See that? So that way we get a braided top almost to the edge of our basket. See that? Okay, now after that, we're going to go about a half an inch down from the braid and we're going to make a straight line to the left side of the paper and a straight line to the right side of the paper. So watch how Mrs. Weintraub does that. Straight across and straight across. So this is going to show that our bowl is sitting on the table. So now we're also going to add a little bit of design to this bowl. We're going to make like a spider web almost. So we're gonna bring this down from each braid, we're going to bring down, going from left till we get to the middle one, which is gonna go straight, all the way down to the bottom as they connect. Then we're going to start on the right side and we're going to bend them in going to the left. So it looks like the bowl. See that? And we connect it to the bottom. Now we're going to give use sporadically inside each one and we're going to stagger them so they're never touching they're in between see that 
each one is in between all the way to the bottom and you're going to do this throughout kind of looks like an opt art drawing almost doesn't it and we're going to keep moving along on each one see that take your time and remember you're using pencil and we will be going over this later with marker in black or brown to outline to make it bold for our viewer to see and appreciate all of our art so here we go again all the way to the bottom and remember make sure each one touches and you're just slightly curving it in between kind of like a brick wall it almost looks like and there we go till the end of it now we're ready to start our fruit so the first piece of fruit we are going to make in our basket is a pineapple a pineapple we're going to make in an oval shape going upward so we're going to start here at the edge of our bowl and we are going to make a huge oval and bring it in okay now we have to add in the organic lines so we're going to make like a checkered board almost, but a bent checkered board. So I want you to go from left to right, a straight across on a curve, all the way to the bottom. Then you're going to do the opposite side. You're gonna come straight across on a curve, on a curve from left to right. And then you're going to put like a check mark inside of each little diamond so they start to look like diamonds so here's my pineapples remember pineapples are a little bit rough on the outside and can stick you with their little points on them and then we're going to make the top of the of the pineapple where we have the stem on top so in that we're going to have to make a organic triangle so watch we're going to make them in organic triangles so i'm going to go up come around and back down I'm going to do the same thing for the opposite, up, down, and around. Then I'm going to do another layer up, down, and around. And again on the other side. And I'm going to bring it over again and over again to finish it off. And there's my pineapple. Great job so far, everyone. Now, the next piece we're going to do is we're going to go back to the base of the bowl. We're going to make two oranges and the top of an apple. So an orange is always round, correct? So we're going to start by making a semicircle and you're gonna stop it right there. We're gonna make a second semicircle, gonna leave a little bit of a gap and then we're gonna make a second semicircle that comes to the edge and round it over, see that? So that's gonna form our two oranges. In between our two oranges, we're gonna have the top of an apple. So I'm gonna pull out my apple for you for a quick second. See the top? right here so we're going to have the top and the stem so watch how i do that we're going to go from the bottom you're going to go up make a little plateau and come around and inside of that plateau you're going to bring out the stem and shade it in with your pencil so we know we have to color it in then you're going to close off that plateau with a little circle in between and then you are going to pull down both lines for the oranges touching the apple. See that? There's our two oranges and an apple. Now, behind that apple, we are going to situate our pear. Remember, a pear is in an organic shape. It is narrower at the top and it widens at the bottom. So we're going to start over here on our orange. We're going to come up around and up for our pair we're going to make it around and we're going to follow it down so that it touches our other orange see that and here we're going to make the little stem for the pair and there's our pair see it's narrow on top wider on the bottom the next object we're going to add in is a banana and if you look at a banana, a banana is not perfectly straight. It is curved. Um, it has no straight angles on it or sides. So we're going to have to make this banana coming up from here, touching our pear. So watch how I do that. 
I make one line going up and then I'm going to come back around. So, and I'm gonna give it some lines, just make some lines on it so it looks like a banana. And up here on top, you're going to shade that in and build it up for a little rectangle, and uh, an organic rectangle, so it looks like a banana. Okay, so there's our banana. And then over here in this blank space, we are going to add our grapes. Now our grapes are round, circles put together, adjoined together in a um, complex situation where they sometimes overlap or they're sometimes touching exactly. So watch how we do our grapes. So we're going to start over here on the bottom. We're going to put the grapes in. We're going to line them up along our orange and our pear. We're even going to bring some over on the other side, touching the banana as well. So you can be as creative as you want with this. We are going to make them different sizes, different shapes, and we're going to just make them like a hill of grapes. So yours will be organically made because it will be as many or as little as you want for the grapes. They can be whatever size you like as long as they're connecting. And we're going to just keep adding them on so it looks like some grapes over here and they're all sitting connecting to our other fruits okay and then we're gonna put some more on this side and we're just gonna build it up a little more and we'll give it a little stem up here as well to show that it's on a stem we can bring some more in so there are our grapes so now our fruit basket is complete. So now we're going to shade in on the bottom. So I want you to take your pencil right now and you're going to shade it on its side on the bottom to make a shadow um, underneath the bowl. So that there's a shadow underneath the bowl. It will be an organic shape um, and you are shading it in with your pencil right now. So, you know, later on, this will be either made into black or a gray or a brown to show the shading. See that on the bottom? Now, we're going to get to our organic background zigzag line. So, we're going to make, like, wallpaper behind our organic fruit basket. Are you ready to do that with me? So, we're going to do zigzags with our pencil in the background of our picture. So, here again, we're going to go behind it and through it. We're not going to go into it. We're just going to go through it, around it, and so that it looks like there's zigzags through the background. So there are our organic zigzags. So after we are done, we are going to trace over everything in black or brown marker or crayon or oil pastel or colored pencils, whatever you guys have at home. Um, and after that, you are going to be your own Paul Cezanne artist. You're going to put your Paul Cezanne hat on. And you are going to take your colors and you are going to add life to your still life art of a fruit bowl. So, I can't wait to see yours. Please look at my finished product in the icon on our video so you can see how mine turned out. So, this is the original and this is our masterpiece. So, I hope you had it fun today and you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you for our next Paul Cezanne um, art video where we're going to look at just apples. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.